video, we will show you how you can replicate a level simulation as a movie footage. First of all, let us remind you that these levels, which are shipped with, are to demonstrate the capabilities and also showing you various settings of the detail panel of the Sky Blueprint. Hence, you are meant to have basic knowledge on the Unreal Engine Blueprint system. In the upcoming versions, expect us to give you the feature where you can store your own presets. Second, these levels are primarily for testing purposes. You are supposed to immerse it via a game mode with a dedicated pawn, then check the level with various activities as well as the control settings shown in the level via floating texts. You are meant to learn which settings of the detail panel made the scene look in that particular manner and also how different angles generate different emotions and themes. Hence, if you are planning to use use movie render cue or sequencer to record the sky or a particular event of the levels, then you are expected to know the basics of those two features of the Unreal Engine. In case you are unfamiliar with these, we are including the tutorials from Epic as well as other creators in the YouTube at the description. Among the levels, there are some which are remain same when you test it via a pawn. And there are other types where it starts with a different setup and gradually becomes the scene which you might saw before hitting the play. For the later case, we need to go and observe the level blueprint. After that, we need to reproduce the settings via sequencer and then render it by using the movie render queue. For this tutorial, we will show you how you could reproduce the scene simulation of the level named Apocalyptic Eclipse. You can see that in this level, the scene becomes different when you hit the play. This is because of the level blueprint. In order to replicate this, for your recording timeline, you need to mark the rotation of the sun and the moon with a different value, and then in the timeline of the sequencer, you need to make their rotation value same. Now, we will open the notepad, and then, mark them. We will look at the variables. You will find the start position, and end position for the sun and the moon. However, we can see that we are changing several things using timeline till the moment of eclipse. Other than position of the sun and the moon, the most important are cloud bottom altitude, cloud height, post process of the sky blueprint and the magma of the planets. For the simplicity, we will only work with our sky blueprint, volumetric cloud and post process which is inside of our sky blueprint. To proceed, we will first make a subfolder under the map folder. Then, we will duplicate the level and place it in that folder. We don't work with the original map. To make sure that the level blueprint do not cause any uncertain outcome, we will disable it by detaching its node. We will make the sequencer blueprint and also place it inside the new folder. Then we will open the sequencer and add actors which are sky blueprint and the volumetric cloud. Now, we need to add a Cine camera actor and we need to bind it to our Sky Blueprint. We will also check the Mode Sequencer and Mode Sequencer Render. After all these steps, we will place keys of the sun, moon, and cloud parameters in the track. The previous note is going to be handy in this time.
Once we are done, we will now keyframe the post process settings. Finally, we could see the scene being successfully rendered in the output video.